welcome to our programme this morning. Yesterday was the first day of Fair Trade Fortnight 2013. So today we're having a look at Fair Trade, what's it all about and why we should be interested in it. A few days ago, Rebecca spoke to Gemma Richardson, the chairperson of the Fair Trade Steering Committee for Banbridge District Council. She asked Gemma to explain what Fair Trade is. What is Fair Trade? Fair trade is a term we use to describe products which we can buy. The fair trade products come from farmers who are being paid a fair price for the, what they're producing to give to us. Fair trade products are also sustainable, so it means that the farmers are being paid enough money to continue producing in the future. Why is it so important to choose fair trade products? By choosing fair trade products, you know that what you're buying, the person who's produced it, has been paid fairly, and you know that they're in acceptable working conditions as well so you know exactly where your products are coming from. What kind of fair trade products can I buy and where do I go to get them? You can buy absolutely anything. There's over 3,000 products in the UK. So if you go into shops and you look for the fair trade symbol, which is usually in the bottom right hand corner of a packet, you know it's fair trade. So things you buy all the time, like maybe chocolate bars or the flour sitting on the table, honey, sugar, tea and coffee, it can all be fair trade. What is your favourite fair trade product? My favourite fair trade product are the beauty products and I have to say the Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Um, I love the different fair trade makeups that you can get now and you can get different treatments as well which are fair trade. Can, we, can what we buy really make a difference? We can change the lives of so many people by buying fair trade. Uh, by buying fair trade we're sustaining their lives, we're sustaining their farms in the developing world so it's smaller, poorer populations. We're making sure that they continue to buy produce and they can keep producing the stock that we are buying in the shops every day. Thanks Gemma. Some facts about fair trade. Did you know that the fair trade system currently works with 1.24 million people, farmers and workers across more than 66 developing countries? And in the UK, sales of fair trade products in 2011 reached 1.32 billion, 12% higher than in the previous year. Fair trade products are now sold in more than 120 countries and 75% of all fair trade producers are smallholder farmers. 78% of UK consumers now recognise the fair trade mark. Last year, farmers and workers from some of the world's poorest countries were able to invest in business, social and environmental projects in their communities because of fair trade. Fair trade accounts for 10% of all the tea sold in the UK and just over 8% of all roast and ground retail coffee is fair trade certified. And one in every three bananas sold in the UK is fair trade. 9,924 tonnes of fair trade hot chocolate was drunk in the UK in 2011. That's about 1.5 million of us sitting down to a cup of hot chocolate every day. Fair trade is a growing campaign movement with more than 550 fair trade towns, almost 900 fair trade schools and 170 fair trade universities. Did you know that you can even support fair trade when you go shopping for clothes? We dream under it. Work in it, dry with it, and heal with it. We even carry our shopping in it. What is it? Cotton is such an important part of our everyday lives. It's easy to take it for granted. But have you ever stopped to think about how much we rely on the people who sow it, grow it, weed, water and pick it? Cotton farming's not easy. Millions of farmers in developing countries aren't getting paid a fair price. And the way the market works can even mean it costs the farmers more to grow the cotton than they can hope to make from selling it. Don't you reckon they deserve a better deal? Safer working conditions? And the chance to improve life for their kids and their communities? Yeah, we do too. It's as easy as looking for this little label. Choose cotton with a fair trade mark and you will be supporting cotton farmers and their families as they invest in a brighter future. <laughs> Look for the label. Choose fair trade. That's something to think about the next time you go shopping. There are lots of other fair trade products you can buy locally. Tea, coffee, hot chocolate. This whisper one's amazing. When Matthew Winnan and I presented a programme like this two years ago, there weren't very many fair trade sweets. Now there are loads. Dairy milk, Maltesers, Kit Kat. From this fair trade fortnight, even the two bar Kit Kats have become fair trade. And Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Just look for the fair trade symbol. 
And don't forget to have a look at the Fair Trades Foundation's website over the next couple of weeks to see how you can help to encourage David Cameron to make a change for the better for farmers in developing countries. Have a look at step.fairtrade.org.uk. And now for the school announcements. Yeah. Scripture Union will meet on Thursday the 28th of February at 3.30pm in Miss Hannah's room. The Crown Jesus Ministries team will be back for the second part of their Hub Schools tour. The topic is walking the road God has planned for you. Everyone is, want, is welcome to come along. Under 12 Rugby. Yesterday the Under 12 Air team played in a Blitz tournament in Portadown. The team beat Crown Junior High School 5-0 in their first game. They lost their second game 3-1 against Killacomain and they won their final game 11-0 against Bambridge High School. The tries were scored by Caelan McBrien 2, John Rhodes 2, Ben Davison 2, Tyler Boyce 1, Harry McDowell 2, Peter Hodgson 2, Mark McElhaney 1, Ross Cockcroft 1 and Ryan Anderson 4. All of the boys put in an excellent performance in all three of their games. Please congratulate the boys on their performances if you see them today. There will be no under 12 rugby training on Wednesday afternoon. Instead, there will be a 15 aside A game and a 10 aside B game against friends on Friday. Players should check the rugby notice board for the squads. There was also a sum of money found in the main hall earlier today. If you think it could be yours, please contact Mrs. Curry. Thanks for watching this morning and don't forget to look out for the fair trade symbol. If we all do it, we can really make a difference. This is FFN News 24. Welcome, I'm Chester Draws. And I'm Jan Feb. The headlines this hour. Guildford woman gives herself a paper cup. Local man becomes unstuck. And yet another game of rock, paper, scissors goes too far. But first, this just in. Rumours are circulating that strange, teeny-tiny, foldable paper people are about to descend on London in the next few weeks. Jan? That's right, Chester. We are assured that there is, as yet, no need to panic. Back to you, Chester. Thanks, Jan. As yet, unconfirmed reports suggest that these hordes of papyrus protesters will be calling on Prime Minister David Cameron to champion smallholder farmers in developing countries at this year's crucial G8 meeting. Let's find out more from Tom Atto, FFN News 24's very own roving reporter. Live on the scene in Parliament Square for us now, Tom. Thanks, Chester. I'm here at Parliament Square and I can exclusively report that there are currently no, repeat, no paper people here at the moment, but they will, I'm told, be gathering right here very soon. Tom, why are they there? 
Why? Well, amazingly, despite producing about 70% of the food we eat, over half of the world's hungry people are smallholder farmers. We don't know quite how many will take part in the march, but one thing seems certain, Chester. They're not going to take this injustice lying down. Oh! Oh, oh, thanks for that, Tom. Hope you're OK. Well, time now for April showers with the weather. April. Um, I'm really sorry. I've got an announcement to make. I forgot my brownie. So there's no weather report. Sorry. Thanks, April. If you want to sign the Fair Trade Foundation's petition, you'll need to design one of these foldable fellows of your own or pick a ready-made paper person to join the virtual march on Parliament. So, get on to fairtrade.org.uk slash go further. Jan. Thanks, Chester. And finally, here's a picture of a lovely kitten. Oh, oh. Bye-bye. Goodbye. I think it's fair. Yeah, I think it is.